today every of their mischief would return back to their head and every of the violent dealings yes the things that they deserve they have been violent against you you know how much they had fought against you everything would change everything would turn around for the best for you and what they deserve they will get in jesus mighty name the word of god in psalms 28 verse 4 says give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors he says give them after the work of their hands he says render to them dear child of god according to what they deserve it will be rendered back unto them in the mighty name of jesus god knows that you have been weak god knows that you have been tired god knows that you cannot fight again you have done everything yes but it seems like the war of affliction keeps on increasing the lord is saying to you today endure endure that i'm bringing the enlightenment to you i'm bringing the understanding to you that everything is working for your good they may have thought they are fighting against you but they are preparing the way for you they may have thought that they wanted to bring you down but they are setting you up they may have thought they are gathering people to destroy you, you see a man thought everything he was doing was going to destroy mordecai but what happened at the end of the day he was setting up himself to be destroyed and he was preparing mordecai to inherit everything that he had but you see from the initial time it did not look like that he was preparing the gallo dear child of god he did everything he invested his own monies he built the gallo and you see what happened he was the one that met his end in that very gallo he had prepared to destroy mordecai dear child of god they may have been doing everything putting a lot in it they may have been making a lot of investment to destroy you but you see they are paying their ways to their own destruction because the lord who said is going to fight for you because the lord who said is going to make everything work for your good is going to arise for you and everything will turn around for good for you and for your family in the mighty name of jesus you see mordecai did not have the monies to build those gallo and Amon did that by himself and met his very own end there Trust God because he's going to give to them according to his word. He said he will give to them according to their deeds. Psalms 28 verse 4. According to the wickedness of their endeavors, he said he's going to render unto them. They have been hard against you. They have been mischievous against you. They are child of God. They afflicted you. They made you to be in pains night and day. They made you to sorrow. They made you to cry. They made you to ask God why. Why am I going through all of this? You, are, you have been asking God, is it because of the good things that I have done? Why am I suffering? Dear child of God, you will not ask the questions anymore because God is going to change everything and is going to give you that victory that you deserve. You are going to testify of the goodness of God and how God vindicated you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Psalm 75 verse 10 says, all the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. My God, it says, all the horns of the wicked will I cut off. Yet, child of God, whatever it is that the enemies have been fighting against you with, the things that they have been using to afflict you, the things that they have been using to bring you sorrow and pains, yet, child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, I'm going to cut every of those things off them in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that they have used to bring miseries and pains to you. Dear child of God, the means at which they had used to bring pains to your life and to your health. God is going to deal with every of those things in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything they have been using to bring you down. Everything that they have been using to bring pains and sorrow upon your life. Everything that they have used to inflict pains upon your life, dear child of God. Today, God is going to cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus. He knows what they are using today to afflict you. And he's saying to you today, I'm going to make sure they will not be able to use it ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I would early destroy all the wicked of the land. He says that I may cut off all the wicked doers. Yes, God is saying, I'm going to cut them off. 
they have planned evil against you night and day. They have set systems to bring you down night and day. They did everything to make you to sorrow. They did everything to cause you to be in misery, dear child of God. You have been asking yourself, when will it come to an end? Yes, they did you much evil, but today, whatever they are doing will not succeed anymore. The means at which they had brought pains to your family. You see, they fought your home to the point that your home had broken apart. They fought your marriage until the point that there was a separation, dear child of God. They fought your family until everything was torn apart. Today, God is going to make sure he will cut them off. And everything they did to bring these pains to your life and to your family, they made you an enemy to your children, dear child of God. They brought enmity in your home because they went about gossiping, because they went about fabricating lies that you did not do, the things you did not do, dear child of God. They said you did so as to break your home, so as to tear everything apart. Today, God will cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you knew that you were set for a promotion and then they brought some things, yes, they dug some things out from your past and used it against you today. And that was the reason at which you were denied what you deserve. They fought against you. Yes, you know that you were genuine, dear child of God. Your repentance was genuine. You went to God with your clear heart, knowing that you wanted to turn a new leaf and then you did. But yet they came, they fought you. They fought against you with the things you had done wrong. God is saying to you, I would make sure. I take every one of them off you. Yes, the things that they did against you, they will never be able to do it again to anyone and you shall be vindicated in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to make sure, yes, he's sitting on the throne of his judgment today and he will judge every one of them. If what they did was okay, dear child of God, they will begin to experience it themselves as well in the mighty name of Jesus. They said they are mischief shall return upon their head, and their violent dealing shall come upon them. Dear child of God, every of their mischievous ways that they have been using to fight against you, today it will come to an end, and everything they deserve will return back. It would return back. He said his mischief, according to Psalm 7 verse 16, shall return back upon his own head. Dear child of God, you know everything that they have done. Some they did in secret, and some they did openly. They came confronting you. They told you to your face that you will suffer. They told you to your face that as long as they are there, you will be in pain. They told you to your face that as long as they are still there, you will not have your life easy. But today, God has heard your prayer. You handed them over to God. You told God to see between you and them. If you have done any wrong, yes, you have asked God even, why are they fighting you? Why did they choose to be an enemy to you? Because you were making progress, dear child of God. Because your ideas were always welcomed, dear child of God. Because the things you were saying always made sense. And so they became very, very mean against you. Because it seems like you were making progress. All you did was to have a promotion. And that was the wrong you did. All you did was to do your assignment very well, dear child of God. And that was the wrong you did. All you did was to make sure you rendered help to the people that needed help. And they were very bitter about it. They felt that you were going to assign them, dear child of God. And they began to fight against you. You see, the word of God in 2 Samuel 3 verse 39 says, The Lord shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness and that time has come that they would get according to what they deserve everything that they have done against you in the mighty name of jesus and this is how god is going to raise you up this is how god is going to bring you to your place of rest this is how god is going to bring you to your place of settlement and you will say indeed yahweh reigns you will say indeed those wickedness have come to an end you will say indeed i've gotten my life back you say, indeed, God has vindicated me. So shall be your testimony. 
and all the things that they deserve, their reward for their wickedness, they would get in Jesus' mighty name. You would enjoy your liberty. You would enjoy your freedom because Christ has redeemed you. Christ has set you free. And everything we turn around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus. He hung on the tree for you just to redeem you, just to set you free, just to ensure that you enjoy your blessings. And no more would anything or anyone deny you the blessings that God said were yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 1 verse 17 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. I want you to know that Christ is full of grace. Yes, he came to preach truth and grace. And you have the grace of God in multiple fold. And the Lord is saying to you today that you are free. Yes, it is time that you get yourself loose. It is time you get yourself off that bondage. It says you are free from that sin. Dear child of God, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, have taken away that iniquity from you. They are taking away that reproach and sin. Do not allow it stay on you anymore. Because the Lord Jesus is saying that I've taken every of these things away. By the blood, by the blood shed for your sin, it was taken and then you are redeemed. He's saying to you those things that you have done wrongly, those things that you did and you were not proud of. He's saying to you the moment you lifted up your eyes to say to God, I am sorry. That moment you said to him that I feel sorry for what I have done. Please have mercy upon me. Yes, that mercy is new every morning. And he's saying to you today, I've forgiven you. I've taken everything of you. And then you are released. Do not hold yourself bound anymore. It is time that you forgive yourself because God has redeemed you through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And he's saying to you, you are not bound. Yes, you are not a slave anymore. You are not a captive of sin. He's saying to you, you are not in bondage. So it is time that you enjoy your life because his mercies are new every morning. Yes, his faithfulness are new every day and it endures forever. As found in Lamentations chapter 3 verse 23, dear child of God, it is time that you go out there to enjoy your life, to enjoy the blessings that the Lord has given to you because you are no more in captivity, because you are no more in any bondage, because you have been redeemed. He said in Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ had redeemed us from the cause of the law. Dear child of God, you are redeemed. And I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that you are redeemed. I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that you are not in any captivity anymore. I want you to have this at the back of your mind that God came to set you free through the Lord Jesus and then you are redeemed. Yes, your soul has been set free. Everything that the enemy had done to keep you in captivity and in bondage. Yes, in that marriage you have been in bondage but today you are set free. You have been in that relationship and you know that you have become a shadow of yourself. Dear child of God, you are set free. Yes, you are free. And you are free indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. The agent of the works of darkness that the enemies have been using to manipulate your life, to keep you down, to speak to your mind, to cause you to be depressed. Today you are free from those yoke and you would enjoy your liberty in the Lord Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, being made a cause for us, my God, Jesus Christ decided to make himself a cause for you so that you'll be free from every causes, whoever it was that may have cost you. Today, it is lifted. Today, it is taken off you and it will not remain in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, they hated you. They did not want you to succeed and they pronounced those words against your life. But God is saying to you today, it will not stand because Christ Jesus have taken each and every one of those causes upon himself that you may be set free, that you may enjoy your liberty and freedom. Dear child of God, the scriptures made claim Colossians 1 verse 14. He said, in whom we have redemption 
through his blood, my God. He says you have redemption, you are redeemed through the blood of Christ, through the blood of Jesus. You are redeemed from the cause of the law. You are redeemed from anything that has brought affliction against your life. Dear child of God, you are redeemed from every single thing that was supposed to bring pain, heaviness, and sadness. The things that are supposed to bring hardship against your life. You are redeemed. It says in whom? In whom? In the Lord Jesus Christ. It says we have redemption. We have redemption. Yes, we are free. We are coming into that part of our liberation. We are coming into our freedom to enjoy the liberty of God. And the blessings that God have extended to us already. Dear child of God, do not keep yourself bound anymore. The yoke of sin, everything that the devil had done to keep you in bondage today had been broken. Whatever it was that the devil had used to keep your family bound. Dear child of God, today those yoke will be broken. Whatever it is that seemed to be a limitation on your path. Today it shall be broken in the name of Jesus because the Lord is setting you free. Yes, it says he that the Son of Man set free is free indeed. Dear child of God, you are free indeed. Your freedom is secured. Dear child of God, you are free indeed. You are free to enjoy your life. You are free to enjoy the blessings of God. You are free to enjoy all the things that God has said are yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, it is time that you enjoy your fruits, the fruit and the blessings of the Lord, because God has made you an heir. Yes, he said you are heir with Christ. And then there are inheritances for you. There are fruit for you. There are rewards for you to receive. And God wants you to enjoy your life to the fullness. Dear child of God, it is time you make up your mind to follow the lamp wherever he goeth. Because that is the place that your liberty, your liberation will be much more manifesting in full. Dear child of God, it is time to make up your mind to say to yourself that I will not go back to become a slave. Yes, I will not go back to the things of the world. I will not go back to the works of darkness. Jesus has redeemed me through his blood. And today I'm free and I will go out there because I'm free indeed. It says, he whom the Son of Man has set free, he is free indeed. Dear child of God, I want you to know that that freedom is permanent. It is secured and nothing the enemy would do would ever get it back upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. That was why it says in Titus 2 verse 14, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, my God. He said from all all iniquity from every form of iniquity you will redeem and he did that to purify you unto himself and to make you a peculiar person that will be zealous of good works dear child of god you have been called out of darkness to manifest the light of christ it is time you make up your mind and say to god help me to be zealous of good work i know that you have washed me clean you have washed me by the blood and from today on I will do the things that are pure, the things that are rightful, the things that are in accordance to your will. Give me the grace to please you all the days of my life. And I want to assure you, God himself will give you the grace to please the Lord Jesus. God himself will give you the grace to please him. He will give you the grace and the ability to serve him wholeheartedly in the mighty name of jesus christ so know for sure today that now is come your salvation now is come your strength and now is come the kingdom of our god and is manifesting itself in your life through jesus christ and every of the accuser of the brethren today they are brought down the scripture says in revelations 12 verse 10 it says for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our God day and night. Dear child of God, everything that the enemies have been doing to accuse you, to bring those iniquitous living back into your life, today God is dealing with each and every one of them and they would be brought down in Jesus' name. And then he went further to say in Revelations 12 verse 11, 
and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death. He says that you have overcome by the blood of the lamp. Dear child of God, you are forever an overcomer. Do not let anything keep you down. Do not let anything continually oppress you. And I know God will see you through. God will cause you to excel. And you would excel beyond measures in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy your life to the full because the blessings of the Lord is upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.